Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to do a sword trading video. Um, for those of you that are new to the channel, I am a competitive sword fighter. Um, and if you go back, you'll see some old videos uh, where you can see me fighting. Um, and you know, basically I'm wearing full armor. Um, and when we fight, we hit at full power and full speed. So it's real fighting. It's not, you know, it's not like sword tag. It's, you know, we're actually hitting each other. We get bruises, you know, uh, the vital parts of the body are covered, you know, like the head, the throat, um, you know, elbows, knees, groin, kidneys, you know, those parts are more heavily armored, but then there's other parts that are more exposed, um, that, you know, sometimes will get hit and hurt. So, um, the, the point is that it's real fighting, um, uh, and you know, all real fighting, okay, whether it's, you know, one-on-one -on -one or whether it's group battles is about misdirection, okay? So, um, you know, if you want to defeat an opponent, you have to bring their defense to one side so that you can attack them somewhere else. So, in individual combat, right, where it's like singles, one-on-one, -on -one, uh, we divide the body into four quadrants, okay? So, you know, you basically make a cross like this. Um, so there's, there's four corners, right? One, two, three, four. Uh, and if I want to attack someplace, I need to bring your guard somewhere else. So if I want, to, let's say, to attack that side of your head over there, what I need to do is threaten this side so then I can turn the sword over and go to the other side, okay? Or if I wanted to attack the leg, I would threaten high so then I could go low, okay? So, so, so that's the basic idea with fighting. Um, you know, any competent, experienced person is going to be able to block a straight shot. Um, so there has to be some misdirection involved or trickery. You know, uh, fighting is about trickery. You know, you have to be able to trick the other person uh, to bring their defense to one side so you can attack them somewhere else, um, you know, more easily, okay? Um, so uh, today I'm practicing a specific fake. Um, I call it showing the tip. Um, and the idea here is that, um, well, first let me show you the shot uh, as not being a fake. Okay, so the idea, so the shot is I am attacking the top of somebody's scalp. So um, if I'm here and basically I'm attacking the top of your head. Okay, it's so a scalp cut, right? So from the side over here. Okay, full extension. If you notice, I'm fully extending my arm and I am attacking to the top of the scalp. Okay, all right. So that's the, that's the. Um, uh, that's the cut. Now, if you notice, I'm fully extending my arm. So if, what that means is if I want to attack somewhere else, I need to bring my arm back so I can attack somewhere else. So if I make a scalp cut, okay, and then I want to attack the leg, I got to bring my arm back and then I can go to the leg, okay? So scalp cut, leg. Scalp cut, fully, fully retract head. So I gotta, I gotta recock my arm or reload it as, as we call it in order to attack somewhere else. So the fake here is that instead of extending the arm fully, right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically just bring the tip forward. The arm remains back here, okay? So the arm remains back here and the benefit of that is since my arm is already cocked, I'm in a position to immediately go to the left. So tip, leg. Tip, leg, as opposed to going full extension, reload the sword, go to the leg. Okay, so that's full extension, reload, go to the leg, tip cut, leg, tip cut, leg. I'll do it this way so you guys can see it, okay? Okay, so that's the full shot, that's the tip cut, okay? So to somebody that you're fighting, you know, they, it's really hard to see the difference whether I'm fully extending my arm or if I'm just, if I'm just, just bringing the tip forward. Um, you know, especially since when we're fighting, we're typically moving around. So, so you know, I might be in a position where I'm moving around, you know, and I'm attacking. You know, you don't know if, if, if it's, you know, if I'm fully extending my arm or if I'm not fully extending my arm um, as I'm moving and striking. So, um, so basically, full extension, leg. If you notice here, I need to bring the sword back to my shoulder in order to basically uh, swing the sword, right? right? Versus tip cut, leg. Tip cut leg. You can see how the tip cut to leg is a lot quicker because my arm, my hand never left my shoulder. It's still back here. It's ready and it's cocked and it's ready to go. So, so I'm just presenting the tip, and then and then basically I'm just going straight to the leg. Um, so full extension to leg, full extension leg. You can see how that's slower. Full extension leg, tip cut leg, tip cut leg. 
tip cut leg. And as you can notice that when I do this, I'm keeping my arm, you know, nice and tight. I'm not making a big roundhouse, okay? You know, I'm, I'm keeping it really tight so it's fast. Straight lines are fast. Um, you know, when a lot of people, a lot of times when people think of swinging a sword, let me put the shield on. You know, they're thinking that you're swinging the sword with these big roundhouse motions. You know, that's not, first of all, that's slow. And second of all, it stresses the, the, the hell out of your joints. So, swinging the sword is not that different from, 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 from boxing. I'm keeping my arms together, right? So it's just like if I'm boxing, you know, it's, it's, the, same, it's the same thing, right? So if I'm here, right, and when I make that cut, you notice it's, it's the same motion. The only difference is there's now a stick, in this case, sometimes it's a, it's a steel blade. There's a, there, there's a weapon attached to my hand, but it's, it's the same idea. You know, and it's a question whether I'm, I'm, I'm palm down or palm up, right? So if I'm attacking the left side, right, it's palm down. If I'm attacking the right side, it's palm up, okay? And if I'm attacking the leg, I'm just dropping it a little bit, you know, so it's a small motion. So my, my shots are really tight, really efficient. You know, I'm, I'm using a little bit of, 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 of hip. Depending on how strong you are um, and how experienced you are, you can, you know, you can use more or less body because all your power comes from the lower body. Um, most new fighters, uh, most, most smaller fighters, we teach them to, you know, basically really get their hips into the strikes. Okay, um, if you're a little bit stronger, if you're a little bit more experienced, what you can do is you can, you know, you can use your core, you can use your stomach muscles and just a little bit of, of hip rotation, you know, to power your shot. So I just use a little bit of hip rotation to power my shots. I mean, the hip is there, uh, but it's not the dominant uh, force uh, in my case. You know, one of the other things that I sometimes use is, um, you know, basically the leverage of closing the hand because as I hold the sword here, you'll notice that, you know, if I loosen up on these fingers here, when I close my hand, the sword moves forward, okay? Um, and that by itself, you know, just closing your hand, you know, you know, can, you know, by itself can have some power. So when I combine that with a little hip motion and then put my upper body strength behind that, you know, it adds up to significant force, okay? So uh, a couple of things for you guys to think about, um, you know, and, you know, I wanted you guys to see this, uh, this tip cut um, and understand the, uh, uh, the central, you know, um, the central focus of using fakes um, in sword fighting uh, as I would use it in any other type of martial art or, or fighting form, you know, regardless whether it's, it's open hand, you know, where basically we just, you know, there's no weapons in the hands, or hand weapons, or, or modern day guns, um, all fighting is about deception and misdirection. If you guys have any comments, put it in the comment section. If you're not a member of the channel, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.